in this video we take a look at how to type in and around a circle and how you can use this in real-time projects like when you are creating a circular logo in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we do photoshop tutorials tech and filmmaking if that's something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing today's video is focused on how to create a test around a circle so let's quickly get started now first of all you're going to create a new project we are actually going to try to create a very simple logo at the end of this particular tutorial so we are going to set a new document of 5000 by 4000 pixels and a resolution of 300 and we are going to click on create now to write within or around a test it basically requires you to follow a path so the first thing you want to do the first thing that needs to come to your mind when you want to write around a circle or inside a circle is you are going to need a path and to create that photoshop has provided you with two most basic things for all of the shapes here you can actually convert that into a path so for instance if we select the ellipse tool which is the circle and of course which is what we are going to use for this particular project when you go to the mode over here we have three basic modes we have the shape the path and then the pixel so for instance if you take the shape when you create it is going to give you auto field colors it is going to fill it according to your foreground color but you realize from here that when you select the path it is not going to give you any field selection instead it is going to give you a path a trend to follow to create anything that you want to create with it so this is what we're going to use for this illustration so for instance if we take the the ellipse tool and then we create a path like this any path at all like that and then we can actually go for our test tool and then we can start writing on it so the test basically is going to follow the path that you've created so for instance if i pick my test tool and i make sure that i start here and my alignment is in the middle it means that any test that i put in here is going to follow this particular trend so you can see that how to write around a test so something basic like this one now once you have this you can select it all and then you can increase it using the font size over here you can change your test or your font type and then you can change the color also from here as simple as that so basically that is how you write around a circle so something simple like this but in our instance how do we actually use this in a real-time project so we are going to select the rounded rectangle here let's assume that i want to create a very simple logo full of circles so we go for the circle or the ellipse tool and then we are going to select shape for the first time we are going to create a very simple shape like this and then we can make sure that it is centered and let's say this is our logo but we want the test around of this particular shape so what we can do is first of all let's go to the view and add some guides over here so we are going to add about 50 percent horizontal guide and then we are going to add another 50 percent vertical guide so just to make sure that we are in the center because literally when you are creating a logo you have to make sure that alignment is very important so once we have this what we can do next is we can go back to the shapes we select the same ellipse tool but this time around at the mode we are not going to use the shape we are going to use the path over here so one thing you can use to get a perfect path or a perfect shape is when you hold shift and then alt together so let's start from the middle here hold shift and alt together and then we can drag like that so we are going to create so we want it around the shape so we are going to make sure that the path goes around or outside of the actual shape that we've created so something like this will be fine and once we have this we can then go ahead and pick our test tool for instance like this and we are going to make sure that let's use the same color over here now you can actually start from anywhere that you want to type but basically if you are using the center aligned here it is very advisable that you start from the middle so that your test will be just in shape for instance if you start from here like this you realize that your test goes according to where you started okay so let's undo this and then choose the test tool again and if you start from here this is how your test goes around so how to type around a test a circle sorry so a circle like that 
and then once you click ok over here you realize that your test has been wrapped around your circle in a very easy way now like i said earlier you can easily make changes to this test because it creates a separate layer for you and that means the layer it's on its own so you can add any changes to this particular one now how about if you want the test within the circle that you've created so let's quickly hide this particular test here and let's go back to our ellipse and this time around what we're going to try to do is we are going to open it up some more so something bigger like this and then make sure that it is centered so centered like that and then we are going to make a duplicate so ctrl j to make a duplicate and try to close it up something like this and then we are going to change the color to white so we are going to make one more duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can hold alt to close it up very nicely like this and then we are going to change this particular color also to the main color that we are using so something like that let's make this a little bit bigger like so so this time around you realize that we want our test in here at where we have the white space instead of around the whole test for instance so what we're going to do from here is that we can add a new layer on top of this go for the ellipse tool again and this time around you are going to use the path like we've explained earlier and then you bring it to the center you hold alt and then shift and then you can create a very perfect circle like this but this time around it is going to be a path and something like this should be fine and then you have your path over there so what you do from here is you go and pick your test tool and then you can come over here at this very beginning or the start point and then you can start typing how to type around a circle so you realize from here that this particular font is too much or this, the font size is too big so we are going to try to reduce it at least when it gets to where we have the line over here that is pretty much one of the reasons why we added the guidelines so we are going to decrease the font over here like that till it gets to the line that we created and then you can use your arrow keys to bring it down like this and i think this should be fine so yeah basically that is how you create a test around a circle but you realize that for most logos when you're done creating something like this we have one more test at the bottom that says that something like established or anything that you want to put there so let's quickly look at how to do that how to flip the test to the very bottom okay so the first thing you need to do in this instance is you're going to make a duplicate of this particular same type that you've made over here and then you are going to hide the first one so the duplicate is this one so we are going to hide this particular one and we are going to work with this particular test now let me zoom in over here and at this point i'm going to really take my time because it can be sometimes confusing now you realize that we are working with a path so with a path what we can do over here is we can go and select the selection over here or the path selection tool over here and then you realize from here that when you put your cursor here it changes to a new type of icon and when you put it here to a new type of icon so what this basically means is that you can change the direction of where your test is moving so for instance i can drag my test like that you see that the test is moving around like that so i can drag it to this particular point let's say something like this and now you see that the test has been totally flipped like that okay so this is how it's actually it's actually looking like but though it is flipped it is still upside down so what we can do next again is we can go for the path selection tool and when you bring your cursor to this particular point you can drag it upwards like that and automatically it is going to flip it upside down so now we can hold control and easily or simply try to bring our test down over here now i realize that in most cases the test that is put around the bottom is not as many or as lengthy as the one that is on top so we can easily edit this to and now we can select this test and we can try to decrease the size so that it wouldn't look like it is too opened up to something like this now once we are done with this we can then go back and select our test here and now you see that we have a complete how to type around a circle 
logo now when you turn off these guidelines you see that this is the exact the current logo that we are having so we can basically just add anything just a random things to make this look like a real-time logo so i actually downloaded these shapes from google so i'll try and leave links to download that as well so i got these particular shapes over here so what we can actually add is and now let me pass this on when you are designing logos it is basically shapes nothing more nothing like um, a layer an actual layer or an image actually you should basically use all shapes that is why i'm using shapes all around and now you realize that still we are in a path mode but this time around we are going to create an actual shape so we don't need a path so we are going to create you are going to select the shape over here and then you can create your shape nicely like this and then automatically you will be there so we are going to give it a color like white and then you click ok and you take your time to position it over here like i said alignment in logo design is very important so we can go and and add one more shape over here so you choose any one of the shapes that you want so let's go for something like this one and then we are going to now when you hold shift right now and then you create the shape it is going to merge with this one so what we can do is we can add a layer over here and try to create this shape separately from this one now the downside to this is that you're going to take a lot of time to adjust to make sure that all of them are on the same line so what i can basically do is i can change the color to white and then i can bring it on top here and make sure that that's aligned with the first one that we created so something like that and it's fine and then i can drag it to each side so some somewhere around here and now we can go ahead and add two more type of shapes like this to the logo and now this is how we currently look like so when we take off the guides this is how we actually look like so that means that we need something to replace the guides so we are going to select the rectangle tool over here and create a very simple basic rectangle like this uh, so something like that we do and then we are going to give it a color white like that and then we can actually try to position it in the middle like this that's that is going to replace the guides that we added so we can press ctrl it to hide the guides like this and now we can see what we actually having we make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can press ctrl t right click and then flip it 90 clockwise and this is exactly what we having so basically we just created a very simple logo you can basically take your time to make sure that the alignment looks fine and then the positioning of the test and then the one at the bottom also looks very fine for something like this and by this you can create a very simple basic logo and mind you this isn't an actual logo it was something that just came out of my mind when i was trying to create this particular tutorial but if you take your time to sketch your logo properly you can actually come out with something better than this one and i believe by the help of this tutorial you're going to be able to write around a circle in your future project I hope you gained value out of this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. It will be so very much appreciated. Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.